my fellow gerbil lovers and welcome back to the gerbil vine. So for today's video we're going to be taking a walk through the small pet aisle of my local um, PetSmart just to see the items they have um, for gerbils and just quickly going over if it's a product that you should be using with your gerbils or if it's something that you should maybe skip on and find something similar instead. So before we get started on our video please make sure that you like and subscribe so that you never miss our uploads. We can start out with the horrible items which is going to be all of this here. Um, all of these homes are going to be no good. They're definitely not something that you want to use even though the homes often advertise that they are safe for hamsters, gerbils, and mice. It's just something that's completely untrue. Gerbils should never be housed in any sort of plastic home and all of these are going to be way 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 too small um, for even a single gerbil to live in. It won't allow you to put any bedding in there and Good luck fitting a proper sized wheel. Often, as you can see from all of these houses here, they come with items like the wheel that's included in this one or the wheel that's included in that one. So they kind of like include the wheel in there because they know that you're not actually gonna be able to fit something that's proper sized in there for your dribbles. So the next thing I wanna take a look at would be all of these um, chew toys over here. And now all of these would be uh, completely safe for you to use with your gerbils. All of these wooden chews over here. Um, these loofah chews I would avoid as you can kind of see that they used glue to stick the purple loofah to the pink loofah. So that's something I would avoid. But for the wooden chews, I think that those would be okay. So all of these would be pretty safe for your gerbils to use, including the dino feet over here and all of these kind of chews over here. Uh, it does look like this item, confetti puffs. So this is basically the same stuff that they use in those um, treat puffs that I put in my Christmas PetSmart shopping video. Um, so again, not something that you want to be giving to your gerbils even though it says on it that it's ideal for them. So next we've got these plastic igloo houses over here made out of this super thin kind of plastic. And again, not something that you want to be giving to your gerbils, guys. Gerbils are heavy chewers. If you have gerbils, you know this and you know that this would be destroyed in all of 20 minutes um, and again if the gerbils eat any sort of plastic like this um, they're gonna have issues breaking it down uh, they won't be able to digest it it could even impact them and cause a blockage uh, so just something that you don't want to risk for your gerbils and then over here we've got these wooden tunnels over now I have used these before um, and just kind of thrown them in there as like a chew toy for my gerbils and this little ceramic bathtub that's actually really cute I don't know if that's supposed to be like a sand bath or if it's just part of like the home decor theme over here. That would definitely be way too small for a sand bath, but it's super cute, it's ceramic, so you could potentially put it in there. Um, it would even make a cute item, like if your gerbils were really hot in summer, you could always put this, something like this in your fridge and then um, keep it nice and cool and put it into the tank for them. So that's something that I think would be totally safe for them, as well as these couches, chairs, and the bed over there, I think that the, oh, and the ladder. I think that those would all be really safe for your gerbils to use as well. So moving on to the small pet toys over here, we've got quite a bit of cute options. Got these little loofah chews over here, the one with the bacon and egg, and um, just these little cookie ones. Again, just like the tiny tail ones that we just saw like a minute ago, these are going to be something that you want to avoid with your gerbils because, like I said, they stick the parts together with glue, and since gerbils chew everything, it's just something that you probably wouldn't want to risk them ingesting, but we've got these. <laughs> I've actually bought this before for them and they loved it. It's completely made out of wood and it's got this little wooden ball in the middle of it. And then we've just got some plain willow balls over here. They only come in blue and green. We've got these over here. These are super cute and I have bought them for them before. You just have to be careful because with the leaf, the leaf is actually, if you can see the glue there, it's glued in there. So what I usually do is take a knife and kind of just scoop out the entire thing, like if you were coring a real apple. So I just cut that out and then it's completely safe to give to them. This is super fun too. It's just like a paper shred and rotten uh, wicker kind of chew toy thing. Super cute for them, but definitely something safe for them. They could totally use this and I'm sure that they would love it because it's all crazy and fun. Next, there's these little... Uh, Himalayan salt chews. This is something you don't need to give to your gerbils. Um, gerbils don't really need salt added to their diet. Um, certainly not a gigantic rock in their tank all the time, so I'd avoid that. We've got these cute little rainbow pumice chews, and it says up here all the types of animals that they are suitable for, and gerbils is on there. You could potentially give this to your gerbils. I don't see anything wrong with it. I currently have a 
a lava ledge pumice stone in my tank right now just to kind of help them file down their nails. So I guess that you could put this a couple of these random items in their tank for them to step on or for them to chew on if they wanted to. I think that that would be an okay option. So moving on, we've got the um, All Living Things Natural Mixed Multi Wood Chews and these are awesome because they are naturally dyed with vegetable juice. Uh, so these are something super safe to give to your gerbils. I've given them to mine on a couple occasions and they really love them. Uh, they always fashion little weapons into them. So totally safe for your gerbils to use. These are super cute too. They're just these little uh, wooden blocks and then they're stuffed with hay. So that's something that is totally safe to give to your gerbils and I'm sure that they would like that. And you could essentially make something like this at home. I've done it in a similar way with a cardboard tube filled with hay and they really seem to enjoy that. Next we've got these cute little coconut chips over here. This is something that would be safe for your gerbil but you do want to be careful with the amount of sugar that's in it. It is 100% natural and the Living World Green is so far I found it to be a really really great line. So next we've got these really cool uh, Living World Green again. These are just plain mango wood sticks. Um, I think that these are super good. I've given them to my dribbles before too and they really like them along with the Living World Nibbler sticks um, which is kiwi wood. They are absolutely obsessed with these. These have to be their favorite little chew sticks. We've also got these cute little willow balls over here which are totally safe for your gerbils to use and this cute little treat house over here that I think is just adorable because you can hide different treats in the different cardboard tubes and then your gerbils can go in and find them so that would be something cute and enriching for them to use and then the fan favorite which is the <laughs> living world carrot um, there is quite a bit of glue on the rope to glue it to the cardboard so if you do buy that that's just something you want to be um, aware of over here you've got these stuff that's for like the rats and the ferrets um, obviously none of this is going to be good for your gerbils except for the lava ledge up there I actually have that one in purple so that's totally safe to use but everything else that is fleece or um, like that big plasticky nylon pop-up tunnel is going to be no good for your gerbils. Down here we've got these cute little exercise pens which I think could actually be okay for them. Uh, I'm not entirely sure of the bar spacing on there. Um, it might actually be too big for them to use and they might be able to actually escape it which is something you would definitely want to avoid. And then down here we've got the wheel section. So it looks like they've got a 4.5 inch wheel which is atrocious. Lost for words that wheel cannot be used for any sort of species. And then they've got the 6.5 inch wheel over there, which again, too small, can't use for any type of species. And then without any middle ground or anything in between, they jump right all the way down to the 12 inch wheel, which is probably the only wheel that I would buy from here for my gerbils because they don't have anything else that's appropriate for them. The flying saucer wheel over here is a 7 inch wheel, which again, too small for your gerbils to use. And then all of these balls over here, we're just gonna avoid those, cross it out, don't even look in this direction. Um, balls are super bad for many, many reasons. We'll never ever, ever use any sort of ball like this. They do not need exercise balls. Use a playpen. So, and then over here, we've got some plastic houses, which again, not good for your gerbils to use, any of those. Um, the KTT tree trunk hideout you want to avoid as well because it's made from plastic material. I believe it's poly resin. So definitely not something that you want to use for your gerbils um, because they will chew it and it's not something that's good for them to chew. And then we've got all these logs over here which are super safe for your gerbils to use. I use these often. All these little bendy bridges. Alfalfa tunnels over here I've bought for them too and they absolutely love those. As well as the little um, woven hides. I think that those are really great for them to use. This one is a really really big version the KT um, cubby nest it's got these really cute wooden buttons on it too all natural all good for them um, same with the large tunnel here and the oxbow timothy tunnel safe for your gerbils to use as well so now on for the items over here they've got some water bottles over here which i think are all good to use with your gerbils i don't see anything wrong with those hay balls you want to definitely avoid as well as any sort of plastic dishes. You won't really need any of this for your gerbils. This is more guinea pig or rat or um, ferret related items over here. Gerbils don't need any sort of mineral block. It's not something that they require. Um, they get a lot of their vitamins and minerals from their food and from their diet, so you don't really have to give them anything extra. Even this, this is um, something that's extra. It's like a calcium, a mineral stone with flour and parsley. Again, not something that your gerbils are going to need. We've got uh, some critter bath powder down here, and that's something that you certainly want to avoid. It's an 
all over horrible option. It's extremely dusty. It's not sand at all. It's like it says, it's a powder. It's a very dusty powder. And even though there's a photo of a cute little gerbil on it, it is not a product that is safe to use with your gerbils. Then we just got these little uh, hay feeders over here. Again, more for guinea pigs. Same with the litter pans over here. They've got some sand baths over here, which I think are actually kind of cute. I really like that big blue one, and it looks like they would still easily be able to kick sand out of it. So for gerbils, I advise using something a little bit taller. You can use like a fish bowl or like a smaller aquarium inside of your tank, something like that. So we hope you guys found this video somewhat informative because oftentimes people go into stores and they just see something that's cute and they don't think twice about it, especially if it's being advertised as being safe for our small pets. Um, so again, always do your own research, do your own independent research on ingredients or on um, items. Always inspect everything and it's probably best to avoid any type of items that have glue and basically all of the cages behind me that you see you definitely don't want to be using those for your gerbils of course it's always better to buy other items and not support the line at all because they don't care about small pets or making improvements or adjustments as you can see by the horrible plastic homes that you see down here so i hope you guys found this video informative i hope you find it helpful and maybe it'll make your shopping trips a little bit easier but yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video today um, as always make sure that you like and subscribe so that you never miss our uploads and drop us a comment down below letting us know if you saw anything here today that wasn't safe for gerbils that I forgot to list and what your favorite item is from your local pet store that you use with your gerbils. So thank you all so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.